Just All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, I've been um, a little in my feelings because um, the trial of my brother's uh, killer is coming up. And um, every time, of course, I hear about somebody's family member being shot, hurt. Um, you know, I get re-triggered all over again. So I try not to hear all the devastating things that we are doing to ourselves because that serves no purpose for me but to keep re-traumatizing, re-traumatizing, and re-traumatizing on top of the other trauma that we already have and experienced. So um, a lot of times when you hear me um, singing, uh, uh, it's the only thing that soothes my soul. I mean, it really is. Um, so um, I try to share that and with myself first and foremost, and then try to share it with y'all. And just give y'all an explanation why I kind of do that when I first come on. Now, a lot of y'all know that I'm working on a couple interviews um, one of the uh, ones I'm kind of excited about, another one that I'm extremely excited about, actually, is uh, with D.H. Williams, uh, who is an author of inspirational uh, words and poems and um, just the written word, the scribes, as they call them back in the day. Uh, and as I read some of the poems in the book of called Inspirations, I get, um, this is a book by D.H. Williams. Oops, can't even see it, huh? Called Inspirations. How about that? Is that better? And um, one of the poems that really get me, and I kind of go to it when I'm really missing my loved ones, and I kind of want to share it with you because it's so much devastation going on right now. I know I'm not the only one that's traumatized, especially in our community. But if you've lost a loved one, especially to violence, um, something that is really hard to get over, you know, it's different when your relative died from some kind of sickness or 
no natural cause, but when they are murdered, there's a whole different phenomena that goes with that because you want revenge. And although you know that that won't serve the purpose, it'll only give you a second gratification and a lifetime full of misery. So it's probably not even an option that you want to explore, right? But this poem is one I run to every time, and I want to share it with you. So if y'all are grieving or um, know someone who is, share this poem with them, please. And it's from D.H. Williams, and I, I plan to do an interview with her sometime up in the near future. I'm hoping it's um like next week sometime we'll put this together. But this one is called Cry Not. And this one has ministered to my soul on so many different occasions that uh, I, I just have to share it with the family. Anyway, she says, cry not for me, for I am free. Cry not for my soul, for I am with God. Cry not for my body. For it was just a shell. Cry not for my spirit, for it will live on in you. You may cry for the way I perished, for it was not my will to go. You can cry for the one who caused this tragedy, for he will have to live with the knowledge and the effect of his actions. Cry for your loss and hurt, for the tears of pain will cleanse your heart. Cry for the lives that have been destroyed. And for the lives that must go on with the peace of their hearts missing. That's us. We have to go on with a piece of our hearts missing. Because these people occupy such a significant place in our hearts. And now they're not here anymore. So then you fall to your knees and you cry to God. For it's God alone who can heal, cleanse, and rebuild your soul, heart, and spirit. And the world. Thank you, D.H. Williams. I, I love that poem again. I want to encourage and inspire uh, all of y'all who love poetry. I'm going to encourage you to check out D.H. Williams' book. It's called Inspirations. I think she has a couple more volumes out, uh, but this is volume one, and this is the one with Cry in it. And uh, like I said, well, cry not. There's a lot of good work in here. And I hope to have her on the uh, program very soon. So uh, these, this, these words go out to anyone that is uh, recovering and recouping, re recovering and recouping and trying to go on with their lives after Trump, murder. I'll see y'all in the next video.